Rehabilitation has started at was once the largest open-cut zinc mine in the world, with a company hoping to make a big mess into money. The operation in Queensland's far north will extract minerals from the waste dam and in the process cleaning up an eyesore. It's a dried up sludge left behind from what was the world's largest open cut zinc mine at Lawn Hill in Queensland's Gulf Country. Century Zinc's 16 years of operation are over, but the giant mess left behind is set to deliver for those on clean up duty. Well the main thing that's drawn us to the side is the size of the tailings dam and the, and the size of the prize itself. The size of that prize is staggering. This waste contains enough precious mineral to make it the world's fourth largest zinc mine. And once the extraction is complete, the site will be ready to return to nature. In uh, 10, 20 years time, you won't see any more tailings dam. It'll be back to natural vegetation. To break down the crust of the compacted waste, extreme high pressure hoses are used. Sediment is then sent for processing where the remaining zinc is extracted and the waste goes back into the pit where it came from. We fully expect that obligation to be fulfilled when all this mining's finished, that the place is restored to as close as you can get to its original state. The company is operating under a landmark native title deal, known as the Gulf Communities Agreement. It has environment provisions which traditional owners say are yet to be fulfilled. We'll certainly be keeping them honest, them and the state, to ensure that, that it does happen. Across the country there are tens of thousands of abandoned mines. It's been flagged as a major issue by the Queensland Government. But the company behind this project wants to show that cleaning up after a mining operation can provide dual benefits for both the environment and the bottom line. Of course we love to get involved with, with many uh, rehabilitation projects. That is our strategy and it's our skill set. Processing of the waste dam is expected to finish in 2025. Eric Barker, ABC News, Lawn Hill.